let's start off with uh, a couple of Donald Trump clips because she dominated that thing so much that there are way more Kamala Harris clips right. than there are Donald Trump. So let's get this clown clips out of the way. Um, <laughs> clown clips. This one, I'm just going to start off with probably one of the craziest things ever said. I mean, not even really in an, a debate. It might be one of the craziest things ever said just in human life. Somehow these people conjure up these ideas that people are coming in from other countries and they are attacking cities. And now it's gotten so bad that, I mean, and let's just keep in mind, people from other countries have been coming to this country, whether it be legally or not through the, uh, the proper channels. And never have you heard um, anybody coming in and stealing people's pets and eating them. But all of a sudden, I guess this is a new fad that they conjured up, that people are coming in and eating. Now, it's bad enough for this to go around. It's bad enough for a peer person like J.D. Vance and Ted Cruz to retweet this. Watch, just listen to Donald Trump and Kamala Harris's face when this idiot actually brings it up in a debate in front of, it turned out, over 60 million people. Our country, by allowing these millions and millions of people to come into our country and look at what's happening to the towns all over the United States. And a lot of towns don't want to talk. It's not going to be Aurora or Springfield. A lot of, a lot of towns don't want to talk about it. A lot of towns don't want to talk about it because they're so embarrassed by it. In Springfield, <laughs> They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. They're eating, they're eating the pets of the people that live there. And this is what's happening in our country. And it's a shame. As far as rallies are concerned, as far as... First of all, look at, Lana, look at Kamala Harris's face. It's almost like he can have my additional two minutes, if you'd like, because his, his guy... <laughs> is talking himself into a hole early that was at uh, mind you sorry no nope, that go ahead. was at 9 31. i was gonna say that was our other um we had an <laughs> over under on uh, when when he was gonna fall off the rails and this was the very first comment first 30 minutes yeah I, I thought when Kamala Harris first came out, maybe it was just me because you already have this nervousness that, you know, you just want her to do well and you're already a little nervous about, you know, Joe Biden. I will say is as soon as it started, I felt way less nervous about this one than I did the Joe Biden one. Mm -hmm. But she started and you could tell she was a little bit yeah. like jumpy, like she was mm -hmm. a little bit. All right. You know, yeah. it took her maybe 10 minutes yeah. and she got settled in. And yeah. then this happened and yeah. you could look at her face and she knows it's over. Yeah. It's yeah. over. This debate's over. Yeah. The reason they go is they like what I say. They want to bring our country back. They want to make America great again. It's a very simple phrase. Make America great again. She's destroying this country. And if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. Real quick, I mean, Lana, if you're a Trump voter, at some point, do you, when do you stop believing him? Because he's been saying this for nine years now. He's been saying it for nine straight years that yeah. when Obama, or he's actually, he was doing it before he was doing it when yeah. Obama was president. Yeah, we're still going to hell. With yeah. The country still like, it's just dark and gloom. No one's laughing and smiling. We're just all, it's just horrible. There's a few more seconds of the clip, and I don't even remember what he says, but it probably is worth listening to. I just want to clarify here. You bring up Springfield, oh, yeah. uh, Ohio, and, and ABC News did reach out to the city manager there. Uh, he told us there had been no credible reports of specific claims of pets being harmed, injured, or abused by individuals within the immigrant community. Well, All I've this, seen people on television. Let me just say here, this is oh, the- People God. on television say my dog was taken, and- my Used dog. for food. So look at her. Maybe he said that, and maybe that's a good yeah. thing to say for a city manager. Uh I mean, Lana. <laughs> I um, uh, baby juggernaut is right. QAnon conspiracy. Jesse, but, pretty weird. Yeah. 
But remember um, how he got there, right? Like, let's not even gloss. Because, like, I was just talking about this. Three things to kind of get to your enemy. Because, you know, if you are someone who is strong and cognizant, you know your weaknesses already. You know your weaknesses. I know my weaknesses. I know my strengths. Whatever. Trump's not cognizant of his because if he knew, he would have known that she's going to bait him with rally because that is a weakness of his and they should have told him that. But, you know, that's how that started, right? Like, wasn't, like, what part, how did this one start? When you know, started, it is like, hard to remember all of them, um, you know, because he goes off on tangents and you are absolutely, you know, correct is that. First of all, I don't even think it matters how they prepare him because in his mind, <laughs> yeah, they've already told him. First of all, he is king to so many people. He is God yeah. to so yeah, many sure. people. And so many of these weirdos and losers, and I'm talking about weirdos and losers that like are that he actually lets surround him. Right. Um, forget about the ones that go to his rallies. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the ones who surround him. They tell him, you're the greatest debater of yeah. all time. So he is basically thinking to himself, I don't, I don't need this shit. I'm the mm -hmm. greatest debater of all time. I could go in and I can run over anybody anytime I want to. Um, and I think that that's the uh, thing. Oh, one point I want to make, mm -hmm. Anna. So the biggest issue that the right wing media and Donald Trump and all these people have had about this debate last night is that he's being teamed up on. Oh, the moderators were teaming up on him. I will say this. Like if you could if you clearly saw a moderator always just attack one candidate in a normal debate. Right. You know, you could say, "Hey, maybe they were a little bit biased one way or the other." When you are listening to one of the candidates say that migrants and Haitian people are in this country eating dogs and that he saw it on television, that 100% absolutely should be corrected. Uh, I can't absolutely. believe I have to say this. Right, right. And I, I think they only fact check, like, check the two things, like that. Correct. And the, the abortion, abortion yeah. at nine months after it's born. He talked about like he was running uh, against Biden. He threw in some Hunter, sprinkled that in there. Like no one said anything. I mean, uh, David Muir, is that his name? Yeah. He, he did refocus him and say, this is an easy question. It's a yes or no. What is your answer, sir? Right? Like they call this man president. So nobody... <laughs> was like anti him at all. They were very fair with both of them and gave him extra time. So in fact, what, he spoke whatever. more than she did. Yes. Answered more questions and yes. spoke more than he did. I think Absolutely. he spoke like four minutes longer, three minutes longer, yeah, and answered, I think, four more questions. Yeah. He had plenty of opportunity. Yeah. He had plenty of opportunity to go back. And hit her, but he couldn't hit her because she kept. She already framed it. He's going to talk about immigration all night long, y'all. Even when we're talking about abortion, he's yep. going to talk about immigration. FYI, watch it. Like she and, framed him. <laughs> and even you know, and it, we're going to get to this because we're you know, I'm I'm looking forward to the knockout blows.